been a lot of really good reports around Geelong and Kariah Bay of catches of whiting. So we're going to venture out by kayak, we're going to look for some weedy zones, and then what we're going to do is we're going to anchor up, we're going to put a burly pot out full of burly, and then we're going to throw out a couple of baits and sit back and hope that we can catch some whiting, maybe some pinkies, some flathead, and who knows, maybe even a gummy shark. Now there is one drawback to this type of fishing, and that's that you do attract a lot of pest species such as stingrays, banjo sharks, and toadfish. So hopefully we don't get into too many of those. Now it's currently 34 degrees, it's 3 p.m. So it's gonna be pretty challenging out there. So we'll do our best. All right. See here guys, we're looking for drop-offs. And what you'll notice now is we're gonna drop from about two and a half meters to about five meters very quickly. So look at that, we're still going down, still going down. And I reckon at the bottom of that is a really good ground for ambush predators. Look at that, we've gone dropped a meter, we're still dropping. And now we're and look at that, there's fish holding the bottom right there. We are going to anchor up. So let's drop that over the side. All right guys, got a belly pot. We're gonna fill that up with some old pilchards. Okay, we're gonna close that up. All right, we're gonna drop that down to the bottom. plan is in about 10 minutes we are just using just pre-made paternoster rigs and these have got really nice small hooks on them and for bait we are just using a bag of pippies probably I think personally is the best whiting bait that there is uh, small pieces of squid and small pieces of pilch would also work really well but I think these are the best the only downfall to fishing with pippies is that they fall off your hook constantly. So you'll find that you're constantly rebaiting. But if you're catching, it doesn't matter. And the other bait that I'm using, guys, is just small strips of squid. Obviously, the beauty about these is they don't fall off the hook. So again, we're just gonna, like, just keep in mind, whiting have got really small mouths, so if you plan on putting a really big bait out, you're probably not gonna catch many whiting. So, one behind me, so. Oh, we're on already. Yep. Yep, that did not take long, guys. <laughs> We are talking, oh no, pinkies. Uh-oh, that's not what we wanted first up because there's a plague of small pinkies at the moment. Yeah. Sorry, mate. Uh, oh, whiting, here we go. Got one. There we go. And that was whilst holding the rod. Sorry, Steve. And there you go. There's our first whiting of the day. Same thing. Oh, yes. Whiting. Take that every day of the week. Yes.
there you go guys. Another nice little healthy whiting. I reckon this white one's about to go. Yep, yep. Oh! What have we got? Oh, nice whiting. Look at that. That's exactly what we came here for. That is absolutely a legal size. And all of a sudden, just in the last minute or two, it's the fun part about whiting fishing, guys. They are so slippery. Another whiting. It's just holding it. That's a small one. They're coming in now, which is good. That's a beautiful little whiting, but we're going to let him go. Definitely do the right thing, guys. Well, well there you go. He was keen to go. <laughs> yes. That's a better one. That's a very good one. Yeah. There we go, guys. Finally got the target species. What do you got? Yeah, keep whiting. Yeah. So we got that out for a whiting. We know we've got a pinky on here, so let's quickly get this guy back in the water. Really trying to get the target species here, so these. Oh, little pinkies are almost like a pest. Oh. That's this one now. Oh, that's another whiting. There we go, that's a good whiting too. There you go, so look at that, we've got that. both rods here. And this is what you're going to call a big tangle in a sec. You got one? Oh, look out, eh? Steve's got a nice whiting there, guys. So it's just starting to happen up. Do you reckon these guys are getting close enough? Like, seriously. You right, mate? You got something? <laughs> what the hell is that? A sea cucumber. Oh, a nice one. <laughs> All this salad sorted. Now we just need the meat. Oh. This feels good. This feels good. Oh man, we've got a nice fish here. Oh, it's a big floody. Big floody. Oh, look at that. That's a ripper. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Gotcha, that's a big fish. Look at that. Woo! That's nice. That's very nice. That was pulling a bit of drag. Look at that, that's on that little uh, Titan rig. That's a ripper flathead. Talking the mid 40s there, easy. Let's grab some pliers. That's definitely the fish of the day. Without doubt.
It's a better piggy. That's the biggest piggy today. Look at that. There's a nice fish. Now, what to do with you? Hey, you're definitely a keeper size, but I think we're gonna do the right thing. And we're just gonna let you go. Have a look at that for a magnificent sunset, guys. Probably got about half an hour left on the water before that comes down. And you know what? We've probably broken the world records in catching a million and five pinkies. 99% of them under 30 centimeters, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It's just great to be out here. Great to be fishing. Great to be meeting new people. Our target species is widening. You know what? We've caught a few of them. A couple of good sized ones. It's always nice just to be out on the water, 